This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of high-risk pregnancy and fetal growth. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine, a selection of transducers suitable for transabdominal and transperineal scanning, transducer covers, an adjustable examination table, an ergonomically adjustable chair, acoustic gel, clean cloths, additional seating for the patient's companion, and a sonographer's worksheet. Select the appropriate transducers for second and third trimester pregnancy examination. Select the appropriate preset for growth and high-risk pregnancy scanning. Enter the patient details and either the date of the patient's last normal menstrual period or the estimated date of delivery. Introduce yourself to the patient and her companion if present and ensure the patient is suitably dressed. Position the patient ready to perform a transabdominal scan. It may be necessary to use a pillow to prevent compression of the vena cava, which could otherwise cause fainting. For a transabdominal scan, expose the lower abdomen and apply gel in the midline, from the symphysis pubis up to the umbilicus. Perform a survey of the maternal pelvis and fetus using a suprapubic view. With the patient supine and her head elevated, a routine anatomic scan is performed, plus any targeted scans requested by the referring physician. Perform a routine second or third trimester scan. Annotate and measure the appropriate structures. Perform a targeted scan relevant to the clinical condition of the fetus and or mother. Select the multiple pregnancy option in the software, if available. Methodically scan each fetus, remembering to label each image with which fetus is being scanned. The fetus closest to the cervix is labeled fetus A. Scan and assess the fetal lie, presentation and viability, fetal number, amniotic fluid, and placenta position. Then perform a routine obstetric scan of each fetus, as well as a targeted scan if any pathology is noted. Perform a scan to distinguish between intrauterine growth restriction, which is abnormal, and a fetus that may be small for gestational age, but within normal limits. The assessment for intrauterine growth restriction may include fetal biometry.